So, just kind of an update on my manual transmission swap. Um, I used the NV4500 mount by Metal, Metal by Charlie. And uh, really, really high quality piece, but I found, I found a flaw with it. And I, I kind of suspected uh, when I put it on that I might have problems. Uh, the problem is, you can see here, where it mounts to the tail housing of the NV4500 is behind where it mounts to the cross member. And through bouncing up and down, it has a lot of leverage on those bolts where the uh, where the mount mounts to the tail housing of the transmission. And long story short, it snapped those bolts off. Um, I was driving home here last week, and I could tell something wasn't right. There was a there was a strange vibration in the drivetrain, and I crawled under it and looked, and sure enough, uh, right where that, you can see that nice new black shiny uh, bolt is into the tail housing. Both those bolts were snapped off, and that mount was really angled downwards. Um, and again, it's because where it mounts the tail housing is behind where the mount ties into the see where the mount right here ties into the cross member um, so the mount fits great but it has a that's a pretty serious flaw so um, what I did is I had a uh, an old leaf spring laying around here and I welded a leaf spring to the bottom of the mount and I ran the leaf spring back here to the skid plate cross member and I just have an old rubber bushing and a hockey puck here. So this this leaf spring gives this mount three points of contact. And it's it should, I haven't test drove it yet, but um, I'm confident that that will keep those bolts from breaking out. Um, because this this will keep the... Uh, it'll keep the transmission mount from twisting. Because um, when these bolts broke, then this transmission mount was laying down, almost touching here. Um, so there's a lot of force on that. Obviously, the transmission's heavy, the engine's heavy, uh, bouncing up and down the road. And those bolts were only, they were 10 millimeter bolts. Um, so I actually... Um, Drilled and tapped for larger 12 millimeter bolts. Now I'm not talking about the size of the wrench, obviously. I'm talking about the, the actual bolt is a 12 millimeter bolt now. Um, that tail housing was drilled and tapped for 10 millimeter, uh, and now I have 12s in there. So not only I upgraded the strength of the bolts, I have this leaf on here, and that should that should prevent that from happening again. So if you're contemplating an MV4500 swap on a first gen. Um, I would recommend uh, still buying this mount from Metal by Charlie. It's a first-rate piece. It just has a uh, geometry flaw, which through no, no fault of his own, it's just kind of where these first-gen cross members are placed. Um, but if you add, like I did, add a leaf spring that comes back here to the, the skid plate cross member, um, I'm confident that I solved the problem here. So... Anyhow, I just wanted to do an update on it, and um, if any of you are uh, contemplating using this mount, I ha highly recommend doing something like this uh, right from the beginning, because I can almost guarantee you, you will have trouble um, if you don't have this third point of contact. That mount's just going to twist under that weight, and it's just going to snap those bolts off like happened to me. So, hope this helps somebody out there.